Okay, this is just a quick little um, tutorial because somebody was asking how i done some bubble papers um, on Instagram. So I thought I'd do just a quick little video. Um, you can do this with paint, but just make sure it's watery. I'm using um, computer ink that I've got spare. I've got loads of it. This has already got bubbles in it. Okay, but as you can see, but all i done was poured the, the ink in. Okay. You can do this with paint, but just make sure it's a nice runny consistency. Okay. And then you put, I'll, I'll, I'll put some more in. Some of your um, fairy liquid or um, any washing liquid. Don't take any, this is a different pot. So I do it, I put quite a bit in really. Okay. Because I don't need to water it down. Um, and a straw, but I only had a paper one and I had one. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I threw it away. And I thought, oh, if I get it out of the bin, so I'm hoping it's still all right. I might be able to cut it off if need be. Um, so you would stir it up. Yeah. Honestly, the kids do this it, and they love it. They usually do it with, um, you know, like poster paints and things like that. It's nice and runny. Right. and then you blow into it and create bubbles there's different ways of doing it which i will show you so right some people um scoop it off okay like this okay I got I wanted softer results so I I done it this way which oh, I'll just put that in you, you do get messy by the way okay, so I done that I sort of I done it this way you get a fainter impression this way okay but I actually I preferred it yeah Oops, so you can build up how you want it to be you usually only get one or two out of that because the ink's gone now you see just keep going <laughs> okay there we go and then I might be able to get one there that's that big one and that so I'm just gonna touch the side of that one and then move it around onto the bubbles there move that around do that one there that's nice and there and there you have it you see what I mean this is I like this way better than that I found that was too inky if you know what I mean Right, let's do one more and then that's it. That's all, that's all there is to it. So you play and play with different colours. I mean, I'm just using old ink, so. Hope I brushed my hair today. <laughs> Some days I forget. <laughs> Right, so I'm, I'm blowing just in case I haven't brushed my hair, I forgot. Alright. Yeah, and um, what, it, what started me off, I actually got inspired by um, Tim Holtz's new stamp. Apps, oh my gosh, I'm, I will be getting it. Haven't ordered it yet, so hopefully it's not sold out. But it's got like a bubble stamp and he's created some absolutely fantastic things. And I thought, oh, I just remember. And um, just remember doing this as a kid. And, and I've done it after that as well, because I actually really enjoy doing it. But it reminded me of it. Okay. I'm 
some lighter ones around the edges there if you want to fill in. Oh, I like that. Here we go. And that's that one now. Okay. So, is that, is that difficult? <laughs> okay, folks. So, that's it. So, get bubble printing. Have, have yourself some fun. <laughs> get messy. I'm going to fill in that area. Just leave that go now. Ah. Okay, folks. See you soon. Or speak to you soon. Bye.